Where there is a woman, there is magic. Hi guys, my name is Nia. Welcome to my channel. If you click on this video, you are here to talk about length. You possibly want long locks or you have locks and you're wondering, when are they going to grip longer? So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start by talking a little bit about what this video is not going to be about. This will not be one of those videos that is just like, well, just, you know, focus on the health of your hair. Make sure your hair is healthy. Don't worry about length. Length will come. I, I'm, we're not going there. You guys have heard those videos. Yes, we want healthy hair, but there's nothing wrong with desiring long locks too. So what this video is going to be about is going to be broken into three different parts. One, just showing you guys a little bit of where I started with my locks and where I'm at, at now so you guys can see my own progression in terms of length retention. Two, talking about what you guys can expect within your first three years of lo having locks in terms of length retention. And then three, some tips on how to get your locks to grow faster. So that is what's gonna be in this video. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Now I wanna get into a little bit about my journey so you guys know where I'm coming from. So as a loose natural, I noticed that I was, uh, my hair was breaking faster than it was growing. I was able to grow my hair to armpit length. Um, at the same time, it just it didn't really grow past there and it took so much effort to get my hair to just even stay at armpit length. Now that I've been locked, I've been locked for about three years. This is about how, how short my hair was when I started. And then this is where I am at now. And so I, I'm pretty happy with my progression, but it did take time and it did take patience. Now what you can expect with your journey. So we're going to start with the first zero to six months. Within that first zero to six month mark, you may your locks may be a lot shorter than what you expected. When I went and got my hair done, I had to get a lot of hair cut off just because of breakage. So once I had my establishment, off, right off the bat, it was a lot shorter than what I expected. And then, after it being shorter than I expected, shrinkish was a mother. Like, those first six months, shrinkage, especially if you have type 4 hair, and especially if you have, you have 4C hair, shrinkage is going to be pretty intense. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see how shrunken up my hair was. You can tell that it was, you can see it shrinking because it looks curly and you can tell that it's very just up to my head now in that time frame you may feel the strong desire to do lots of styles that stretch out your hair and i want to warn you guys away from that if length retention is something that you are interested in or something that's important to you this is something that was a pitfall of mine i did a lot of braid outs a lot of twist outs um, I did a lot to stretch out my hair during this time and it prevented my hair from locking faster and and that slowed down my length retention. So that's what you can expect within the first six months. It's just very shrunken hair. Yes, your hair is growing, but you may, you may not be seeing that length, right? At about one year, my hair started to fully lock. Now that my hair is fully locked, I'm definitely able to see my growth faster. I was about fully locked around one year, one and a half years. And so once my hair was fully locked, I, I was seeing crazy, crazy amounts of growth. And so I'm also seeing a lot less shrinkage as well. As you can see, if I pull down my hair, my hair is not much longer once I pull it down than where it's just sitting at right now. And it, it hasn't been like this throughout my entire journey. There was a time where my hair was like sitting like at the top of my chin, but I would pull it down and it would be all the way down to here. Now, also, while your hair is locking, you may lose length because while I said my hair was right here, but when I would pull it down, it would be all the way down here. Now, once it's solidified in that lock, it's solidified up here. It didn't it didn't lock all the way down here when it it when the lock formed, it formed in its shrunken state. So as your locks are forming, they are going to shrink and be shorter. Once I've got to my two year mark, I've seen crazy amounts of growth because my hair is fully locked. So it's not, it's not shrinking and I've gotten into a routine and I, I've been utilizing the tips that I'm going to talk to you guys about next 
in order to um, maintain faster amounts of growth. So my tips for getting our hair to grow faster are all about the scalp. I have found that since I've adopted a really, a really great scalp routine, my hair has thrived. So what is my scalp routine? What does it consist of? It's super simple. You have to cleanse your scalp thoroughly. How is your hair going to thrive and grow on a dirty scalp? So what my favorite thing to cleanse my scalp with is this TPH Master Cleanse, but you do not have to get this, guys. I love it because it has the three um, little spouts that can get right into your hair, and I like the smell, but I've been able to thoroughly cleanse my scalp without using a product that is this expensive. The trick is you have to get that stuff right down into your scalp. I have 4C hair, so if I have quite a bit of new growth, sometimes it's hard to get my, it's hard to get the product right there on the scalp, and here are my tips for doing that. If you don't want to use this, you can put your, your shampoo in either a spray bottle and spray it right there on your scalp, or you could put it in a bottle like this this um, with the spout like this and then directly put the product onto your scalp also parting your hair into sections when thoroughly cleansing your scalp is essential I know we were used to doing all the parting whenever we were loose naturals and then we when we were done with braiding and banding that was exciting we're like F this braiding and banding we're over it but if you want to thoroughly cleanse your scalp you need to get you need the parting for, for a hair texture like mine to get deep down in there. Now, if I'm just washing my hair and I'm not doing a deep cleanse on my scalp, I won't do I won't part it in sections. I'll just wash it and go on about my business. But if I want to thoroughly cleanse my scalp, I'm parting my hair, I'm using something to get deep down on my scalp, and I'm making sure that I'm massaging the product into my hair and rinsing it out thoroughly. On top of thoroughly cleansing our scalp, we need to make sure that we are keeping our scalp moisturized. This is my favorite product to moisturize my scalp, this essential hair growth oil and the Taraji P. Henson scalp oil that's in a bottle just like this, only um, a little bit smaller, is really a really close second favorite. But I think this is, this is the goat right here. So after I thoroughly cleanse my scalp, I will moisturize my scalp with this and I make sure that I do a nice scalp massage to to get the stimulate the hair, hair growth and all those good things. I don't know all of like the the official terminology for it. All I know is that it has worked for me. But pro tip, when you are cleansing your scalp and while you are massaging your scalp, make sure that you don't have lots of snags on your nails, guys, because snags on your nails will pull out your hair. It, your hair will get caught on your nails and then rip it out from the scalp. And that's just a no-go. So that is my biggest tip when it comes to length retention and, and just growing your hair faster. And I've tried everything. I've done vitamins. Now I will say biotin did work in terms of hair growth for me, but it also broke me out. And so I'm just not here for that. But I've done vitamins. I've done all the drinking of the water and all the different things. Honestly, the only thing that I haven't done that they say you should do is work out a lot. But you know what? I'm having my quarantine glow up and so I'm going to start working out a lot. I'll let you guys know if it impacts my hair later on. But that is my major tip for growing your hair faster is to have a really thorough scalp routine. If you guys would like to see me do my entire scalp routine, I will um, show you guys, comment below, um, and let me know if you guys want to see that. So I am encouraging you guys to stay positive on your journey. Know that length retention and, and seeing that growth, it takes time and you are beautiful with your hair all the way down to your butt crack and you are beautiful t with your hair if it's just sticking up and it doesn't even go past your earlobe. You are beautiful and your length will come in its own time with your hair all the way down to your butt crack and you are beautiful t with your hair if it's just sticking up and it doesn't even go past your earlobe. You are beautiful and your length will come in its own time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.